What's up everybody and welcome. Before we get started and explaining everything about how we make money on the road, spoiler alert, this video is actually sponsored by The Great Courses. We're gonna dive into that a little bit later in the video and give you all the details. But first, one of the most frequently asked questions we get is how do we make money on the road? How can we afford to travel full time in our van? So today we're actually going to break it down into some distinct categories that show you if you're maybe an aspiring van lifer or transitioning into more of a nomadic lifestyle, how you can implement them in your own life. A lot of these things are actually common between a lot of different creators or people that you see living nomadic lifestyles, but that doesn't mean it's the only way to do it. For instance, before we actually moved into the van, we both worked full time. My bad background is in public health. I used to work for a quality improvement organization in hospitals all around the western part of the United States. I was actually into sales for about six years. We thought I was guaranteed to be able to take my job on the road and Allie's was kind of up in the air. When it came time that our van was completely built and we were about to set sail, my company told me no, absolutely <laughs> not. Allie's company actually yes. gave her permission. I was so surprised. So for the first few months, I actually worked full-time remote in the van while we were traveling. I actually quit my job and then took on YouTube and being an influencer as a full-time job, which kind of <laughs> sounds made up. It doesn't is. sound like something you can do as a job. So when we first moved into the van, we thought, oh, this is going to be great. We'll start a YouTube channel. We'll start to earn money ourselves and be sustainable from the very beginning on YouTube. Because you think that once you start getting a bunch of views on YouTube, that YouTube's just gonna pay you all this money and you're gonna like have money to do whatever you want. That's not the case. So we worked really hard and it's taken us a very long time. Now, eventually, we are self-employed and fully sustainable. But traveling full-time also means working full-time to make money in every way possible. For sure. So there's actually five distinct income revenue streams that we survive on. Income revenue stream number one. YouTube. We actually generate a very small amount of money from YouTube ad revenue. It's not enough to sustain us by itself, but when combined with our other categories, it definitely adds up and helps. We don't actually mean YouTube pays us because YouTube doesn't pay a single creator. It's actually Google AdSense. So you actually allow your videos to be monetized. Google puts ads on your video and gives you a fraction of the income from those advertising fees. It's like a 17th of a penny per view. Something very small. Yeah, it's extremely small. So even with a astronomical amount of views, you don't make very much money. It's really not enough to survive on. Which is why when people start YouTube channels, they think there's no way people can survive being a YouTuber. This is true if Google AdSense is your only income. So that brings us to income revenue stream number two, which is affiliate programs. So one of the most popular is Amazon. So if you look in our description, there's a lot of links of all the products that we used in our van build, in you know living in our van, basically anything under the sun. Even if you don't wanna buy anything in that list, if you click one of those links, anything you buy for 24 hours, we get credit for sending you to Amazon. So we get a small commission on each of the purchases bought through those links. And again, it's not a huge amount of money at the end of the month, but when it's combined with the rest of our categories. It makes this lifestyle possible. So if you ever want to help us out and you need to buy something on Amazon, click one of our links first and that gives us a little kickback. That brings us to our third category, which is actually Patreon. Patreon is a platform where you get exclusive behind the scenes content and a more personal relationship with us in exchange for a small monthly donation, as little as $1 a month. So these things range from a dollar all the way up to whatever you want to donate. At our top tier, I actually give van consultations and advice for van builds. So this is actually another thing that helps keep us on the road. Patreon is also a big part of our income. So if anyone out there is interested in building out their own van and wants a little bit of help, has some questions, check out the link in our description. You can always ask Trent for some help. 
And that brings us to our fourth income revenue stream, which is apparel and or products. We currently have t-shirts, stickers, mugs, things like that with our name on it, or the series that we just got done filming, which was the Don't Stop Belizing series. I'm sure some of you have already seen it. Have one product that's brand new that just got released and that is the blueprint slash layout of our van with all of the interior measurements we are so excited that this is finally done it's taken a long time and a lot of work but now finally a 3d model with all of the measurements of the entire built-out living space is available all of the dimensions of how we built the cabinets how big they are how high the countertops are the benches things like that so you can really adapt it to any van we'll go ahead and throw a link right here if anybody's interested in picking that up our fifth and final category for how we afford to travel full-time is brand integrations which also brings us to the fact that this video is sponsored by the great courses plus the great courses plus is a subscription based on-demand video learning service and these lectures include people from national geographic the smithsonian even ivy league colleges we think this is extremely important because it's continued learning the great courses plus offers unlimited access to a library of over 11,000 courses with anything that interests you science math literature or even how to become a better photographer so through the great courses plus me and ali actually took a course called the fundamentals of travel photography it's taught by bob christ who's actually a photographer for national geographic which is a pretty big deal he went through so many things in these lessons on how to use equipment how to use lighting one of his best tips is the two most important tools in a travel photographer's toolbox is one a cup of coffee which we love coffee, so obviously that works for us. And two, a local newspaper. And what he explains is that no matter how good your camera equipment is and no matter how good of a photographer you are, if you don't know where to go and what to photograph, you're not gonna have a good experience in that area. And that's where you turn to a local newspaper to find out what's going on in that area and what you wanna photograph. The Great Courses Plus is actually giving you guys a special free trial. It's thegreatcoursesplus.com slash Trent and Allie. There's a link in the description as well. Go check it out. Continue your learning, learn something new, doesn't cost a penny. So we wanted to say thanks again to The Great Courses Plus for sponsoring this video and helping us make this lifestyle possible. Now we try to keep brand integrations to a minimum. We only work with brands whose values reflect ours, whose mission aligns with ours, and who actually offers services and products that we believe in and that we use on a daily basis. So each one of these categories that we've mentioned in this video are very important. None of them are very large, but combined, they help keep us on the road as long as we watch our budget and we remain frugal. We are by no means making a lot of money doing this. <laughs> if we had a house where we had to pay rent, we would probably be in the hole. But the fact that we live in our vehicle and we travel full time and we're as frugal as possible, these five income revenue streams all make it happen. These are just the five that work for us. There are a million different ways for you to work remotely on the road, to be self-employed. All you need is a little bit of creativity and patience because it's a long process, but it's definitely worth it in the end. You can be a digital nomad in a handful of different fields and that's really up to you. All you've got to do is have a dream and make it happen. So I guess in closing, we really just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. First off, consider subscribing to the channel. If you haven't already, hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.